If I don't have one, I'll ask. So I was in a bar and I bumped into an ex-girlfriend. She's like, do you want to get out of here? I'm like, yeah. So I went to my buddy, go, hey, dude, uh, do you have any condoms on you? He's like, yeah, here. And out in front of all these people, very cavalier, just hands me a Magnum condom. <laughs> and my first reaction is, dude, what are you doing? He's like, what's wrong? I go, I can't use this. He's like, why not? I go, do you know the etiquette behind this thing? If I can have intercourse with a woman, I pull a Magnum condom out of my pocket, I have to back that shit up. <laughs> That's like false advertising. <laughs> That's like showing the woman the keys, the Mercedes, like, hold on a second, and just pulling up in a smart car, you know what I mean? Like, what, well, it'll get you there, get in. You know? <laughs> so this is what I said to my buddy, I go, dude, I can't fit into this. And this is what he says back to me, he goes, you can do it. <laughs> I go, no, I can't. Are you telling me, I don't have a big dick because I don't believe in myself. <laughs> I think, oh, you're right, man. It's not here, it's here. <laughs> Mind over member, you know what I mean? <laughs> what am I supposed to do by that logic? Buy the book, The Secret, read it, get a vision board, put a big dick on there? <laughs> and just look at my friends and be like, man, one day I'm gonna get it. Like, 